Hi, my name is Austin with Right Physical Therapy. I have my lovely assistant Brandon here helping me out today. So today we're going to talk about cervical spine radiculopathy and the clinical prediction rules for testing for radiculopathy. So real quick refresher, radiculopathy is simply a nerve being irritated at the neck that radiates down the arm. So there is a testing criteria, there's four tests that we do to help rule this up or down. Uh, one test by itself is not great, but as we get more positive tests, it increases the specificity all the way up to 0.99, which is almost a perfect one for ruling this condition in. So the first thing that we are going to look at is cervical spine rotation. So what we're looking for, we'll pretend Brandon has symptoms on the right side here, but we would be looking for a range of motion less than 60 degrees to the painful side. So Brandon turn left, and he's got full normal range of motion, turn to the right, and if he were to have a positive test, he'd have limited range of motion towards the painful side. The second test in this is going to be a compression or Sperling's A test. So for this one, I would go behind the patient for video purposes, but you can also stand in front. You're gonna have them side bend their head. And then from here, you're doing a straight down compressive force and looking for a reproduction of symptoms. Brandon, do you have any of your symptoms with this test? No. Okay, distraction test is simply reversal. You can do this standing, you can do this sitting, or you can do it laying down. So I'm gonna grab the side of his head and just kind of lean him into me and gently lift up. Brandon, how are you here? I'm fine. Okay, and so what we would be looking for with that is a relief of the symptoms. The last test is an upper, upper limb tension test or a nerve tension test. So Brandon, I'm gonna have you lay on your back Head, a, head right here for me. Um, I'm gonna test his left shoulder just for purposes of being able to see. So what we're doing is we're tensing the nervous system here to see if it reproduces his nerve pain type symptoms. So for this test, the patient is going to be laying on their back, arm abducted to 90 degrees, and starting out in neutral external rotation. First step is you're gonna say first, do you have any symptoms here? No. And so we're looking for a reproduction of symptoms. I'm going to extend his fingers and his thumb as well as his wrist. And then I'm going to block his shoulder so he doesn't shrug it up during the test. I'm going to hold it there, slowly external rotate, and then extend the arm. While I'm doing this, Brandon, please let me know if you have any symptoms. So I'm slowly externally rotating and then extending the elbow. And let's say he had symptoms here, that would be a positive test. A negative test would be if we got all the way to this end position without symptoms. So with those four tests, we can do a really good job to clinically rule up a cervical radiculopathy and to help identify those patients that will benefit from treatment.